Have you ever wondered what life was like in a medieval city? What did people do from dawn till dusk? Picture a world that thrived between the 5th and 15th centuries, where kingdoms and empires rose and fell, and the course of humanity was forever changed. This was the medieval period, an era that spanned a thousand years and crossed continents from the bustling markets of Europe to the grand palaces of Asia. Life in a medieval city was a complex tapestry of human experience. It was a time of grandeur and grit, of knights and nobles, artisans and alchemists, peasants and priests. Every day was a dance of survival and ambition, faith and fear, love and loss. Each dawn brought new challenges, and each dusk marked another day of resilience. As we delve into this past, we'll uncover the routines, the rituals, the rhythms of a day in a medieval city. So let's journey back in time and explore a day in the life of a medieval city. As the sun rises, the medieval city begins to stir. The first light of dawn illuminates the cobblestone streets and a new day begins in the life of a medieval town. The early morning air is filled with the sounds of roosters crowing, signaling the start of a new day. The city folk, both young and old, start their daily routines. Artisans like blacksmiths and weavers begin their laborious work, crafting items with meticulous care. Farmers are already out in their fields tending to their crops and livestock, their day having started even before the break of dawn. Traders set up their stalls in the market square, displaying a variety of goods from fresh produce to handcrafted wares. The air is filled with the scent of fresh bread from the bakers and the chatter of townsfolk bartering for the best prices. The city, once quiet, now buzzes with activity and life. As morning turns into afternoon, the city is in full swing. The afternoon in a medieval city is a bustling time. This is when the city truly comes to life. Various tradesmen and craftsmen are hard at work, honing their skills and creating valuable goods. The blacksmith's hammer rings out, striking hot iron on the anvil. The baker's ovens are fired up, filling the air with the comforting aroma of fresh bread. The tailor, the cobbler, the carpenter, each contributes to the symphony of industry that is the lifeblood of the city. The market is a hive of activity. Merchants hawk their wares, from vibrant textiles to exotic spices, from fresh produce to intricate jewellery. The air is filled with a cacophony of voices bargaining, trading and selling. It's a sensory overload with colours, sounds and smells blending together into a vivid tapestry of commerce. In the midst of all this, the social interactions of the city's inhabitants play out. Friends meet for a quick chat, exchanging news and gossip. Children run and play in the streets, their laughter echoing off the stone walls. The city's elders watch on, their wise eyes taking in the scenes of everyday life. Amidst the hustle and bustle, the church plays a central role. The tolling of the church bells calls everyone to pause their activities for the midday prayer, a moment of respite and reflection. The church is not only a place of worship, but also a hub of community life, offering solace and guidance to the populace. The city is a complex organism, a network of interconnected lives and livelihoods. Each person, each profession, each interaction contributes to the vibrant tapestry that is the medieval city in the afternoon. As the sun begins to dip towards the horizon, casting long shadows on the cobblestone streets, the city starts to wind down. The market stalls are packed away, the tradesmen finish their work, and the children are called home. The bustling afternoon gives way to the calm of the evening as another day in the medieval city draws to a close. As the sun begins to set, the city starts to wind down. The setting sun doesn't mean the end of the day in a medieval city. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting long shadows across the cobblestone streets, the medieval city transitions into the realm of the evening. The hustle and bustle of the daytime markets gradually subside as vendors pack up their wares and head home, their pockets slightly heavier with the day's earnings. Yet the city doesn't fall into a silent slumber just yet. Evening meals, a time for families to gather around a hearty stew or a hunk of bread, bring warmth and laughter to the homes. The glow of candlelight flickers against the stone walls. The aroma of roasting meat wafts through the air, and tales of the day's happenings are shared over mugs of ale. 
Meanwhile, the taverns and inns come alive with social activities. The clinking of tankards, the hearty laughter, and the occasional off-key singing provide a soundtrack to the evening. Here, friendships are forged, alliances are brokered, and disputes are settled, all under the cover of the night. Yet, not all are immersed in merriment. Some are entrusted with the safety of the city. The night watch, armed with lanterns and cudgels, begin their rounds. Their footsteps echo through the silent streets, eyes alert for any signs of trouble. They are the city's guardians, their role crucial in maintaining order and security when darkness descends. In the quiet corners of the city, preparations for the next day are already underway. Bakers knead dough for the morning's bread, blacksmiths stoke their fires, and craftsmen arrange their tools. The cycle of life doesn't stop, it simply slows, catching its breath in the peaceful embrace of the night. As the moon reaches its zenith, the city finally settles into a semblance of sleep. Yet, even in sleep, it hums with a latent energy, a promise of the vibrancy that the new day will bring. And so, under the cover of darkness, the medieval city sleeps, ready to wake up to another day. So, what can we conclude about life in a medieval city? Well, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've uncovered. Life in a medieval city wasn't a walk in the park. It was marked by hard work, toiling from dawn to dusk. Whether you were a blacksmith hammering out the day's work, a baker kneading dough, or a farmer tending to the fields. Yet amid this laborious existence, a strong sense of community prevailed. People relied on each other, shared their joys and sorrows, and celebrated together. The church played a significant role, not just as a spiritual guide, but also as a social hub and a provider of education and healthcare. Life was simple, yes, but it was filled with rich traditions, vibrant festivals, and the comforting rhythm of the seasons. Life in a medieval city was a symphony of hard work, community spirit, and simple pleasures. It was a different world, a different time, but not so different from ours in the fundamental aspects of human existence. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting facts. See you next time.